oxidation and reduction in terms of changes of oxidation state. Uh, oxidations involve an increase in oxidation number and uh, reductions involve in a decrease in oxidation state. If the oxidation number increase is oxidation, uh, if the oxidation number decrease, then it's reductions. Let's see this example. Huh? Okay, let's see this example. Okay, this is, a, this is an arrow, okay? It's an arrow, huh? What's the oxidation number of magnesium? Zero, yes, because it's, uh, it's neutral and it's element. Huh? Neutral element, zero. What's the oxidation number of this uh, hydrogens? Positive one, okay? Hydrogen always positive one, right? Okay. Then how about this chlorine? Okay, hydrogen is positive one. Uh, chlorine, we don't know, right? Plus X, uh, and it's equal to zero. So X equals to negative one, uh, so it's negative one. So negative one. Then how about this magnesium? This magnesium. What's the oxidation number of this magnesium? Positive two, right? Okay, because this is a compound. Uh, this is a ionic compound. The charge of this magnesium is Mg2 positive. Uh, so therefore it's a uh, positive two. Uh, let's use the arrow. Okay, so the oxidation number is positive two. Uh, how about this chloride? What's the oxidation number of this chloride? Okay, uh, magnesium positive two and uh, chlorine we don't know two times x and the sum is equal to zero. So x equal to negative one, eh? negative one. Okay. Uh, if you know the charge, you know that this is chloride Cl, Cl negative. Then uh, then uh, you can also straight away write the oxidation number equal to negative one. Eh? Uh, then how about this uh, hydrogen? Zero. Okay, because it's an uh, element and it's neutral, right? Zero. If you want to know if you want to know whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions, eh? so what you need to know is uh, the oxidation number. Now let's see uh, magnesium. Let's see magnesium first, okay? So do you think magnesium undergo oxidations or reductions? The oxidation number change from zero to positive two increase, eh? zero to positive two increase. So the oxidation number increase. So this is oxidation or reductions. Is oxidations. It's oxidation. Eh? How about chlorine? How about chlorine? Eh? Let's use another color. Okay, let me use uh, orange. So, what do you think? It's not oxidation and it's also not reduction eh? because the oxidation number remain unchanged. Negative one, negative one. Yeah, remain unchanged. So therefore, it's uh, not oxidations, not reductions. How about hydrogens? From positive one to zero. Positive one to zero. This is uh, reduce, right? Decrease. Uh? Positive one to zero is decrease. Uh? So therefore, it undergoes reductions. So that is how we identify whether it's oxidations or reductions. First, we find the oxidation number. Uh, and after that, we check whether the oxidation number decreases or uh, increases. Uh, uh, then we know whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions. Uh, in this case, magnesium's oxidation state has increased. Uh, so it has been oxidized. Magnesium has been oxidized. And uh, the hydrogen's oxidation state has fallen has fallen okay from uh, positive one to zero uh, so it has been reduced the chlorine is in the same oxidation state on both sides negative one negative one uh, so it hasn't been oxidized or reduced so that is how we identify oxidations and reductions uh, in the reactions by using the change of the oxidation state Usually, I, ad I will advise my students uh, to use these methods instead of the receive oxygens, uh, lose oxygens, receive hydrogens, lose hydrogens, or receive electrons, lose electrons. I don't like that method, okay? Because uh, for the first two, receive oxygens or receive hydrogens, uh, that one is applies to certain reactions on the air. And the third one, uh, receive electrons or lose electrons, that one is very hard to see. Because it's very hard, sometimes it's very hard to, for students to see uh, whether it's uh, receive or lose electrons. Uh. So therefore, the change of the oxidation state is the best method to identify whether uh, an element undergoes oxidations or reductions. 
this one is an arrow okay should be an arrow okay now can any of you tell me what's the oxidation number of the sodium here positive one okay that's correct oxygen negative two that's correct hydrogen positive one right hcl eh? hydrogen positive one uh, chlorine chlorine negative one eh? here yeah, should be negative one eh? okay okay hydrogen positive one and then plus chlorine reductional equal to zero so x equals to negative one eh? sodium positive one chloride negative one hydrogen positive one oxygen negative two so then let's check sodium eh? before that is positive one after the reaction is positive one no change right oxygens before the reactions negative two after the reaction is also negative two no change hydrogens before the reaction positive one after the reaction is also positive one no change and uh this one chloride before the reactions negative one after the reactions negative one also no change means that there is no oxidations nor uh reductions no oxidations no reductions uh, in this chemical reactions and therefore is this is not uh redox reactions okay so nothing has changed so this is this isn't a redox reactions this is neutralizations uh, neutralizations of acid uh, and uh, neutralizations of acid is not a re is non-redox reactions last one sodium positive one oxygen negative two hydrogen positive one chlorine zero sodium positive one chloride negative one uh, sodium positive one oxygen negative two now this one we don't know okay this one we don't know huh? so if you don't know let's let's do some calculations huh? Uh, sodium positive one and then plus x and then plus uh, negative two okay and it's equal to zero uh, because the charge is equal to zero x minus one equal to zero and x equal to positive one so this is positive one positive one hydrogen positive one oxygen negative two so now let's see the changes huh? let's see the changes from here we can see that uh, chlorine eh? chlorine from zero to negative one so this is oxidations or reduction this is oxidations or reductions this is a reduction eh? because the oxidation number decrease right this is a reduction eh? we can also say that this chlorine eh? after it become this uh, chlorate here this is a sodium hypochlorite so the oxidation number changed from zero to positive one so this is oxidations so you see the same element it can undergo reductions and oxidations at the same time uh, so we say chlorine is oxidized to become uh, sodium hypochlorite and uh, chlorine is reduced to become sodium chloride so this is an example of disproportionations reactions so what is disproportionals reactions uh, this disproportionations reactions uh, is a reactions where a single substance the same substance uh, it undergoes oxidations and reductions at the same time it is oxidized and it is reduced at the same time okay uh, this is called disproportionations reactions uh, anyway you don't need to remember or memorize this name in SBM okay just just let you know that there are such case where the same substance is oxidized and uh, is reduced and uh, oxidized in the same chemical reactions